Looking good, YouTube. My name's Love Game, and we got a situation right about now. We cannot have those goods stolen here on Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire, the Redemption Run. I'm gonna keep calling it that, even though it's an ironic name. For those of you who don't understand that, it's a reference to uh, DSP, because like he did a redemption run of Dark Souls. It was supposed to be a redemption run, but he just ended up just having the uh, chat help him out and everything anyway. So he didn't really redeem very much at all. <laughs> But now, we as a matter of fact do have cut. Hmm. Oh, that's right, Flame Bro's dead. I'll be right back. I hope you guys are fans of Kanye West because I got me a new slave. Sometimes I do teach cut to uh, Combuskin when I play this game, but. I want to make his moveset more diverse this time around, so I'm trying not to do that. But Double Down is kind of overpowered right now, so we should probably switch to somebody else. Get some action going. I gotta train big. I'm plain, bro. We're going places, man, I can tell you that right now. Oh, that's not even fair, man. What am I going to do about this? I mean, I'm faster than it. I never was any good at dittos. Especially not in Pokemon. Ah. Hope you guys are liking this LP so far, just because... I guess it's kind of a redux of my first ever LP. And I want to give you guys something good. I actually heard from uh, Devon, a guy that, uh, I met him through Mr. M not Mr. Mario, man, uh, Lord of the Marios. This guy is an idiot. I have no, like, physical attacks at all. Yeah, Lord of the Marios introduced me to him. He's cool. I haven't really seen much of his videos personally, but I don't know that he's done a lot of his own, like, OG kind of videos. Why is there a cut tree? What is the point of that? It's weird. I'm gonna go ahead and get Skitty out here. The question is... No, don't cut. Ooh, yeah, okay. So, Karama's girl told me to always be checking for items on this guy. Still pick stuff up randomly. So thank you to Karama's girl for that advice, because I used to always forget that in the original LP. Okay, so how is this gonna work? Ooh. Okay, let's let's get some love up in here. I'm attracted to mushrooms myself. I don't know about you guys. Mew, mew, mew. Oh, come on. How could you tackle your lover like that? I mean, who wouldn't be in love with my boy Big? That guy has been through me through thick and thin waifus. Unfortunately, Shroomus does have kind of a nasty effect that it can do, but we'll be seeing that later. Yeah, feel the love, baby. This is right after Valentine's Day, too, so love is still in the air. This is like the most amazing debut of a Pokemon I've ever had. That's so cool. What was that, like four turns in a row? Thanks for the crit, by the way. I didn't even need that, but... I'll take the overkill. Come on, Mew, Mew, Mew. Let's do it again. Mew, Mew, Mew. <laughs> It does sound like a cat, though, doesn't it? It kind of sounds like a... 16... not 16, what is it? A 32-bit console, this is? 
A 32 bit. Oh shit, uproar, it's Lil Wayne up in this bitch. We got Lil Wheezy. It's a pretty good song. I actually like uproar by Lil Wayne. That's right, I actually gave positive praise to Lil Wayne for once in my video. It's not something you see too often. Come on, no whammies, baby. Oh yeah. This is what I love to see right here. Biggie putting in the work already. I don't pound me. That's rude. Yes! How does it feel, AI? You just been mewed. Mew, 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 bitch. Karen. I'm gonna brush your teeth after this. I can't believe I made a reference to Monogatari in my LP. This was a joke back in Big's LP of this game. He was all like, the penis berries. Kind of became this uh, running gag. And I love Chesto Berries too, one of the better hold items in this game. If you have the move Rest, you can use it in conjunction with the Ch uh, Chesto Berry and actually get kind of a good strat going there, so I respect it. It's a good plant. Yeah, it's kind of a running thing that I always use Skitty in these games, even though Skitty's not all that good. It's fun to use for gimmicks. That being said, I'll be right back. Alright. Stocked up on some potions. Just in case. Right, this is the part where I was talking about, like, tea and coffee and all that, because... I do love my tea and my coffee. I am a Texan, so I gotta have that nice southern sweet tea. You know what I'm saying? What am I, like Nelly? I'm like southern but hip-hop at the same time. <laughs> I love this music too, it's nice. All ominous and what have ya. Oh, I'm coming alright. Yeah, one thing that I always kind of found weird in my old recording of this back in Ruby was that, like... This is kind of cool. Check this out. He's going to use a special move. And it's going to be all different and whatnot, because it's in this... Oh, no, he's not? Okay. Aw, oh, I wanted to see him use, uh, secret power. Too bad I won't get the chance. Cause I gotta have some DBZ references in this as well. It's kind of mandatory at this point. The one thing that I thought was kind of weird is how I didn't... I caught most of my Pokemon off-screen in the original LP, which even back then I thought was a little bit... off. Like, not something I would normally do. And it made it feel a little bit less personal because... Weirdly, it was even weirder because I caught two Pokemon that I didn't even end up using. I caught a Shroomish that I named Dr. Fowl, and then I caught a Slughoth, which I named Tealistril, or well, I think it was just Teal because I couldn't fit the entire thing, after uh, two of my friends. I already said Dr. Fortune Cookie as well as Tealistril, aka Tyler. I mean, God, I, know, like, I know six people named Tyler, it's crazy. Six whole Tylers up in this bitch. He was like one of my old YouTube buddies from back in the day. And I never ended up using either one of them. <laughs> and then yeah, I caught uh, Skitty, Dot, and Taylo all just off screen. And I was like, hey guys, I'm back, here's my team, you know. <laughs> Just who the hell do you think I am, buddy? Oh yeah, this part. Should go up those stairs fast. <laughs> Oh, 
Now I have to give some credit to my little player character here, Mr. Nathan, or I always call him Katz, C-A-T-Z, because I originally named the guy Katz when I first played... When I first played this game, like way back when it came out, I just named him Katz, like the guy from Courage the Cowardly Dog. And I always just kind of, I call him Katz subconsciously, even though I name his, I know his name is actually, uh, Brendan? Brandon or Brendan? I think it's Brendan. I just know him as Katz. <laughs> I have to give it to him because he's actually a lot more directionally, uh, or he's less directionally impaired than I am because I'm bad with directions in real life can't drive for beans without a GPS. <laughs> well, within my like local area I can, but I tend to get lost a lot, that's what I'm saying. I had a little adventure downtown the other day, I think I talked about that in my... Oh, okay, here's a little thing that you might know about. Well, see, we have that already in Hey You Pikachu. That was in Gen 5, the Dream World. And obviously that'll be for later, but yeah. It's kind of funny how that's like references to other games in here. Because Pokemon has always kind of felt like its own... The games kind of feel like their own uh, isolated experiences, if you will, but... They kind of have a little bit of connection there as well, so that's kind of cool. Anyways, we're gonna head down... Oh yeah, she's here. Yeah, I used to actually, like, when I first played this game, I tried to fill the Pokedex, and I got pretty close, believe it or not. Because I had a friend... I, I don't know, I had a copy of Ruby and Sapphire, and I gave the copy of Ruby to my friend. I'm not sure why... Why did I play Ruby for the LP channel instead of Sapphire? Does anybody know that? Because I didn't... Well, maybe it was because I was using C dot, and C dot's a Ruby exclusive. Maybe I don't know. Like that's weird because Sapphire is the one that I'm more associated with. Either way, we're gonna do a little bit of backtracking here because we now have the use of cut, so we can go check out what lies below. I say below, but it's just kind of to the south. I mean, we're going to the, the Texas of this, uh, this particular region. Yeah, it's the same music as this, or that was the same music as this, I mean, for the Verdant Turf Tunnel. But you know what it'd be? We have a previously, uh, unexplored region here. A lot of grass-type stuff around here, interestingly enough. Kinda reminds me of, uh, there's pretty much like a forest in every Pokémon game. There's the... Ilex Forest from Gold, which we played back in 2014. Of course, the OG Viridian Forest. Ah, more X items. Just money for me. That's just for money as well, I do believe. I do like the kind of pacing and structure of this, because you end up just going back kind of the way you came, but exploring stuff you hadn't already previously, because you have cut, so it's kind of nice. I like that. This is nice music, too. I say this with all this game, but like not, not as good as um, Platinum, but man... Gen 3 really had it going on. I, just, I, I can't, like, 
how did they go so wrong with, uh, with Gen 5? I just don't get how a series known for having such good music could end up being, like, the fifth installment has, like, in my opinion, one of the worst soundtracks in, like, any game I've ever played. Like, when I played that game, I legitimately turned off the sound several different times when I was playing. That's how bad it was to me. Speaking of music... still have the pipes on me that I used to, but I was able to hum that pretty good back in the uh, first LP. And we've hit land in Duford Town. A lovely place. You could explore a little bit here as well. Yeah, it's kind of a secluded area, kind of a lot, just cut off from the rest of the world, and it feels interesting in that sense, just... The music here is very... I guess melancholy? Pre preposterous Tournament? That's the one I got for this file, are you kidding? So, this house is interesting. You can put it in like a phrase and it'll have some sort of fad, like, associated with it. Uh, yeah. So, you can, like, enter what... whatever you want. Sometimes it'll they'll accept it, sometimes they won't. I don't know why that is. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> See, I was. I don't get this line. I own. Like, is that. That's not good grammar to me. I know it's a kid, so it makes sense, but. Is this guy British? I dare say, chap. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those weird things. Like, it has nothing to do with the rest of the game. It's really out of place, but I almost like it for that reason. Oh, yeah. I'm itching, baby. And now my rod's itching, too. Yeah, they, they changed the fishing mechanic in this game because in the previous two gens, all you did was just walk up to water or hit the button and hope something showed up. In this game, you have to actually time your button presses to properly, well, get a Pokemon. We're going to head up north. we get getting Nolfi up in here. Well, you have an ocean right there. Just pee in the water. I mean, nobody's watching you, Ned. No one's gonna judge. Unfortunately, that's a male Pokemon. Ah, oh, shit. And here's where my luck with the RNG goes very south. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. I'm not risking that. Let's get Plain Buddy out here. Thankfully, Constrict is not, like... See, that was your crit? Oh my god. This is gonna be a long fight, folks. <laughs> boy, oh boy, am I excited. Unless this crits. See, I can't confuse him, though, so it's... Yeah, see, he, he, he has to get his crits and his, like, 100% accuracy supersonic because he sucks so bad that he can't actually hurt me normally. Watch me get both poisoned and confused. Watch. It's gonna happen. Maybe not? Okay. 
I don't recall my luck being all that great back in uh, the original run, so I don't know. <laughs> I did not find any shinies, that's for sure, so if that happens, well, we'll have to see. <laughs> Yeah, this definitely takes me back, though, for sure. Oh, on a stream, I'm not streaming this. I'm just, like, recording it for YouTube, so... It ain't much of a stream in that aspect. Here's one of these joke trainers that uses nothing but Magikarp. Which are still faster than me, by the way. <laughs> oh, boy. Fun times ahead for us here on Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. So place your bets. How long is this LP going to take? Because back when I started this, you could only do videos uh, 10 minutes long, or 11 minutes actually, but still. With the unlimited time limit and with my usual video length of about 30 minutes or so, give or take, what do you guys think? I, I believe the original was like. I'm trying to remember. You know, I might be poisoned, but at least I'm not toxic! Yeah, we got some chill times ahead. Chill times, like chill Tim, you know? I do here. It's just the Magikarp gives such crap XP that I want to like... I don't want to split it because it's so few as it is, you know? You know what? Once for old time's sake. There we go. And yes, if you win the fight, you won't actually have to deal with poison. But just so that you don't die on the way back to the Poké Center, I'll do you a solid. And heal your ass up, Biggie. That being said, as I take my dying cat back to the, the hospital here, I'm going to call it quits for this episode of Let's Play Pokémon Ruby. Next time, we will... Explore the rest of Duford and take that uh, gym challenge on, why don't we? I think that's a swell idea. But until then, I've been a love game. This has been a Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire, the Redemption Run. And I want you guys to stay swell. So